Maybe, oh, there it goes. Hello. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, I know what day it is. We're shocked. I know, but it's Monday, so it's easy. It's like a giveaway. Uh, today, I'm talking with you about how you can, um, the fastest way, not just how, but the fastest way that you can move from being blocked to being successful. So um, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that has something that you're just like, I can't do this because I can't do this because I don't have time. I can't do this because I'm not smart enough. I can't do this because I don't have enough experience. I can't do this because fill in the blank. And hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. Um, so we all have these things, right? And, and, and what you're shooting for, what you're trying to achieve is not important. This is going to work all across the board. It does not matter what it is. So the fastest way you can move from having these blocks to being successful and overcoming these blocks and achieving your goals, no matter what it is, has everything to do with the words that you speak. So we're going to go right back to, I can't do that because, fill in the blank, right? Okay, so I can't do that because I don't have enough time. All right, let's really evaluate that. You don't have enough time. Do you manage to watch Netflix? You don't have enough time. Do you manage to scroll Facebook or Instagram endlessly? This has nothing to do with time. has everything to do with the words that you are speaking. <laughs> because once you, here's the thing, you guys, the way your brain works is really freaking cool. And also, if you don't understand it, what was made to protect you will take you down. Okay. So our brains were made to protect us and they function this way for a reason. So when we say, I don't have time, your brain is going to automatically find all the support in the world to back that statement up that it's that's that's what our brains were made to do was to be like yes that's true why why was our brain made to think like that well let's just go back to neanderthal times and you know steve that lives one cave over says joe we got a bear in the neighborhood your brain needs to be looking for this bear in the neighborhood OK, so when you say to yourself, I don't have time to accomplish this goal, your brain is like, oh, shoot, we don't got time. Let's see all the ways we don't have time. We don't have time for that. We're sitting here watching Netflix. We don't have time for that because we're still scrolling Facebook. We don't have time for that because we're stuck in a book. <laughs> Hi, I'm a bookie. Um, all the things, right? Like all the things. So something else. What's another what's another good example of I can't because I can't do that because I'm not smart enough. All right. Okay. Who says you're not smart enough? Where'd you get that idea from? Is it your idea? Or did it come from someone else? Did someone else tell you that? Or is that your true belief that you're not smart enough to do that? Either way, the words are what's convincing you that it can't be done. Change the words. You are are smart enough. You're capable and smart enough. Because here's the thing. If you don't know enough right now to be able to go out and do whatever it is that you want to do, you are smart enough and capable enough to figure it out. If you are on social media, you can read and you can at least halfway write. <laughs> you can type in short, okay? And you're also technically minded. So you are going to be able to find somewhere online to teach you how to do what you want to do. It has nothing to do with whether you're smart enough. It has everything to do with telling yourself that that's what's standing between you and what you want. Your words are so powerful. And, and half the time, we don't even realize. We don't even realize, you guys. We don't even realize that it's our words that are standing between us and what we want. We have no recollection of this. <laughs> it's just not. So look for it. I want you to look for it. When you say something to yourself, and that's a reason why you're not doing something, ask yourself if it's true. And if it's beyond a doubt true, okay? Because just because someone else told it to you doesn't mean it's true, right? I know you know that's true. Like, just because someone said it doesn't make it true. So um, the other thing 
that this plays into is um, your emotional responses. Your emotional responses are word are rooted in words that you choose to repeat to yourself over and over and over. So example, I talk a lot about how um, when I start to get upset, when I'm moving towards having a full out rage outburst, um, there's thoughts that we have, right? Like it doesn't matter you or me, whether if you're moving towards an extreme emotion, there are thoughts rolling through your head, things that you are using to support that emotional response. The truth of the matter is, is that the emotional response is nothing more than a reaction. It's a natural reaction. So your thoughts triggered the reaction. If you straighten out your thoughts, you can stop, slow, or completely revert that emotion. Like you can be like, well, <laughs> that's not true. Haha, <laughs> funny story. I've done that. Okay. Like I've been like, okay, I'm getting really irritated about this, but the thought that's triggering it is not a true statement. Example, no one ever helps me with anything. Is that true? <laughs> Sorry. Is that true? <clears throat> it's no, it's not. Why is it not true? Because no one ever with anything. These are generalized words. That's bullshit. Call it right now. Call it. It's bullshit. You need to know that you tell yourself bullshit all the time. And it's time to start calling yourself out on it. And that is the fastest way you will go from blocked to successful. So that's all. That's my little spiel of the Monday. Um, and I guess it's because, A, I'm talking about conscious language this week and um, heart-centered and intentional horsewomen. That is our focus, is conscious language, being conscious of the language that we use to talk to ourselves and others. Um, and then the other thing is, um, because I've been focused on it, because I refuse, to stay, I refuse to stay blocked in this space. I will have more. I will achieve more. I will help more people. I will help more animals. I will have the life I dream of. I do have the life I dream of. I'm shaping it every day. And, and that is all conscious language. So if that is something that interests you, if you need more of this conscious language conversation in your life, if you are ready to eliminate blocks and to move from a place of having outbursts or big emotions that you're done with, you need to jump on over into Heart Center and Intentional Horsewomen. And just so you know, I'm going to call out this elephant. If you are not a horse lover, horse owner, horse caretaker, or a woman, you can still join the group. We won't judge you. All right, you guys have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous Monday night, and I'll see you tomorrow.